So the best way to see the value of this enhancement is to first go back to our 1012 or 2022 R3 release. Now you can see here in that release I've got three sheets uh, created uh, with three different drawing models. And if I come up here under Save Views, you'll notice that it tells me the file name that I'm in, container, and it also tells me what model it is being used, which is the default model. Now that's great, but what it doesn't tell me is it doesn't tell me which of my views are being used. So for example, here I've got the default model displayed in different views three different ways. Here I've got a background map turned on. Uh, here you'll notice I've turned off my construction elements so the name boundaries don't show up in view 7. So again it, it's not telling me well, which one of these views is it. So that's the first um, issue. Now it turns out that uh, ORD always uses view 1. That's the default uh, behavior. But again, it's, it's not intuitive to our, um, to our users. So let's come in here and just show that. So for example, if I, if I come to the default model, and let's make a couple of changes. Let's turn the uh, constructions off, and let's turn the uh, terrain off itself. You'll notice that it's automatically picking those changes up from view 1. You can see the drawing model uh, shows that proper change. So the biggest issue we have so far is it's not clear to the user which one of these views is being used. But that we've got a little bit bigger problem than that. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to open a 2D, 3D uh, plan view. Okay. Now when I did that you'll notice that it creates automatically a new view group called multi-model views. All right. So what I'm going to do now is, um, you can see here, here's the default model, view 1, in the multi-model view group. So I am going to go back to my default here, and I'm going to turn on the uh, construction elements so I can see my name boundaries. Now I'm going to go back to plan view 1, and you notice they didn't turn on. The reason for that is the controlling view group got switched to multi-model views. So it always uses view 1 of the latest view group. So now unbeknownst to me as a user my control just switched from view 1 in the default to uh, view 1 in the multi-models. Okay and just to just to show that uh, let's come back over to here and let's make a change. Let's turn on the constructions in the multi-model group and you'll notice when I do that now they come on in the drawing model. So we really had two issues in previous releases. Number one it was not clear to our users which specific view was being used and it wasn't clear what view group was being used to control their drawing and sheet models. Now let's take a look at this same data set in 2023. You can see once again I've created uh, three sheets. Uh, you can see in my drawing model I've got my name boundary construction elements as well as my terrain and everything looks good. Now notice under the save views here's the change. So not only is it telling me what model it came from, it's telling me specifically what view group is being used as well as what view within the view group is being used. So now I know that if I want to control my sheets I will do it using view 1 within my default view group. Okay. So if I want to make a change for example uh, let's come in here and we will turn constructions off and let's, uh, let's turn our terrain off and if we go to the drawing models you can see those changes are made. Now we also eliminated the issue of switching view groups. So let's come in here and right click and we'll open the 2D 3D view. Now again notice it automatically created the multi-model uh, views which was causing us an issue uh, earlier. 
but notice I'm still reading the default. So if I want to change my drawing model, so notice now the drawing model does not have uh, the terrain on, it doesn't have the name boundaries, I, f I have to go back to the default model view one. So let's come in here, let's turn our constructions on, let's turn our uh, terrain on, and you can see that these are now being controlled from the default view group. So again, we cleared up some things that were confusing and we made it very clear to our users uh, what is controlling their sheets. We also uh, added this to the properties uh, for the models as well. So if you come down here under general, you'll notice it's telling me what view group as well as what specific view is being used for this model.